hello in my previous video i have shown how i have resolved the overheating problem of my laptop now after installing a fresh copy of windows 7 i am facing a weird problem uh, when i put the laptop in uh, hibernation mode then uh, it abruptly restarts so today i am going to show you how i resolved the problem so let's begin we are already on the desktop so let me show you what the problem is start menu and now i am going to put the system on the hibernate so here it goes system is now in its complete hibernation mode let me turn it on back again Let the windows start normally. So that's the problem. The system abruptly shut down and restarts automatically on being resumed from the hibernation mode. no error messages nothing no clue to the problem so here we are back to the desktop and let us examine what is the problem in the system for that I will go to the control panel then I will go to the administrative tools and I will see the event viewer So in the administrative events it is showing an error it's pointing to some string value in the registry being not formatted correctly the other one is a warning it again says something about the registry I will see the critical error first that's the kernel power error it says the system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down first this error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed or lost power unexpected. Let me see in the details. So basically there is no clue as to why the system abruptly shut down and restarted. Let us check the system drivers also. 
so I will go to the device manager yes there is a problem in the system drivers it is showing some unknown device so basically these type of errors occur when the chipset drivers are not being installed so what I will do is I will open up the AMD USB 3 host controller properties I will go to the details then in the device description I will select the hardware IDs I will copy one of the hardware IDs and I will paste it in the browser I will press enter now since I am not connected to the network therefore it is not showing but earlier when my system was connected then it was showing certain list of drivers I have downloaded one of those chipset drivers I will show you now this folder contains the chipset drivers as you can see it's uh, about 1.21 GB in size I will install the drivers hoping to resolve the issue select the custom install and accept graphics driver I will install all the drivers drivers are taking some time to install well Windows 7 was launched in the year 2009 and uh, my system was manufactured in the year 2017 so 
there is a very high possibility that windows is not being able to connect to the hardware properly using its default drivers that is why I have to install the custom driver package I am also out of luck because the technical support for Windows 10 has already ended on foot so I cannot contact HP also now I will restart the system to check if the problem has gone So now the drivers have installed completely. Let me put the system in hibernate mode again to check if the problem has been resolved. Let me turn it back on. So here we are. The desktop has come. The problem has gone now. So as uh, we can see it was the driver's problem installing right drivers of your computer is also one of the necessary tasks to make the system more stable and reliable again I will put the system to the hibernate mode and again I will see if the problem has solved or not because from my experience I know in the first chance the problem may not appear but in second chance the problem can appear again so in order to double verify I have put the computer again in hibernation mode so let's turn it on back again windows is resuming so here we are problem is gone now
so now the drivers have installed completely let me put the system in hibernate mode again to check if the problem has been resolved Let me turn it back on. So here we are. The desktop has come. The problem has gone now. So as uh, we can see it was the driver's problem installing right drivers of your computer is also one of the necessary tasks to make the system more stable and reliable. Again I will put the system to the hibernate mode and again I will see if the problem has solved or not because from my experience I know in the first chance the problem may not appear but in second chance the problem can appear again so in order to double verify I have put the computer again in hibernation mode. So let's turn it on back again. Windows is resuming. So here we are. Problem is gone now.